Okay, Matthew, um, disappointing evening here at Solitude. Give me your thoughts on it. Yeah, and sums it up. Disappointing, you know, I think if we're not 100% at it, you, we're going to struggle against anybody in the league. And, and I think that ball fruit tonight, you know, we give them the first goal. Um, I think if you let anybody be free in the six-yard box for a header, it, it's criminal. You can't let Joe Gormley, who's 30 goals a season for 10 years in this league, be free. We did. Then we, we kind of came back at it and we had a little bit of a goal. I'm not going to say we were good, but you know, I thought, look, we're looking all right here. We might, we might nick something. We were in the game. And then the second goal is poor. Obviously, Adams tried to slide to block it, pulled his groin. Um, and Joe's miskicked it into the cross, really, wasn't it? And, and it's gone in and deflates us in the third goal. I don't know which angle you guys are filming from the BBC and they just show me the angle. He's offside. Like there's no rule that he isn't offside. They told me that there was no part of the build up that Joe Gormley was offside. Joe Gormley was offside. No, it doesn't matter. Somebody tried to clear it or whatever. If you're stood five, you're still offside whether somebody clears it or not. And they said no, he wasn't offside. It, regardless of the touch or not touch, somebody attempted to play it and missed it and it ran through to him, but they said he was onside the whole time anyway. So we come in at half time, obviously. Disappointing 3-0 down and, and we just tried to change things up a little bit and just said, look, do you know what, we'll go man for man pretty much all over the pitch and we'll try and be aggressive and play for a bit of respect and, and pride and then we go and concede a penalty straight away. Um, and as good as Cliftonville were tonight, I don't think we made them work overly hard for the goals. I think it was a straight run from a striker and a straight ball and, and they got the better of us all night long with that pretty much that tactic and, and we have to deal better with that as, as defenders, as midfielders, as forwards, whatever you want to call it, as the team. It's one ball, one striker, one run. You can't, we can't afford to keep getting done by that. Um, but the game's over now. Um, it's 4 now. What we've got to think now is how we're going to improve the performance on Saturday because we've Limfield coming. And then when we play these next Tuesday in the Cup, it's a quick turnaround and we've got to make sure that we are, I was going to say 10 times better, well that would be probably stupid when when we were probably 50 or 60 percent we, we can't be 500 percent but we have to make sure we're at our maximum levels and that goes for every game that we play because when we do that and i've been on record i've said it before when we do that we're okay we're not brilliant we're okay we can go beyond that by people you know playing above the levels but we we need to be at our maximum level which you know for me seven out of ten is what i expect if everybody does that, we have a chance. If we have one or two above it, all the better. But when, we, when we're turning in five and sixes out of tens, we have no hope. Like you say, after a couple of goals went in, we were deflated. Mm. And there was a sense of heads were down. Is that the young squad thing, or is it, is it not acceptable at all? You need to be mentally stronger than that. No, because I look at the young players, and they're the two youngest in the team, and Oshin and George, and they didn't. They went and had a go. Nothing to do with that. You're looking around them for other people to pull them through. I thought Michael Ruddy kept going the whole day long we brought Lee off because we don't want him one it likely to get a book and he'd just been booked and obviously we're trying to protect his shoulder you know Adam Sally wasn't fit to play Lav the same with his foot then with Barney with Sammy being suspended we're kind of bare bones Sam Ward's got shin splints I am turning into that manager now moaning about <laughs> injuries but it's not moaning I'm just explaining that when we're on our bare bones we've got to go and do what we've got to do I don't think they threw the towel in um, and I don't, I'm not going to say all oh, the young lads and you know the disappointment because I didn't see the young lads giving it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're coming to the end of a run of away fixtures back to Summer Park now on Saturday. It's good to get home. Yeah, this should have been at home today. This is our home fixture. We've had to move it here. So we'll go and play at home on Saturday. See what the pitch is like because we've had the two or three internationals on it. Probably they've trained on it. We've had a nice bit of weather. Might suit us on a swamp. Might ring Jack Axe and tell him, don't bother cutting it. Leave the grass long and leave as much mud on it as possible and give us a chance against Linfield because we know they're a good team and they're going to bounce it about. They're going to get the ball wide and get crosses. If we don't stop that, if we put, do what we've done at the back on Saturday, like what we've done today, we'll be in for a long afternoon. So Thursday will be spent making sure that we're back drilling them into what we did for the last two or three weeks to, to make sure the back four and the midfield are organised in front of them. 
and you, say, you said it before this game's over now it's <laughs> all about what you, how you react to it and how you bounce back from a performance like that yeah can't dwell on it there's no point I can't get it back you know I would love to rewind the clock back to half past six or half past seven prior to kick off and and work on it but I can't unfortunately that's life we now got to look forward and, and make sure that Thursday's right in what we do the session's right the tempo's right and the performance Saturday then should come from that if we set them up in the right manner well thank you cheers